Hello, everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and perform the basketball skills test. For the passing skills, place a measuring tape against a wall, or find another person if you are performing your passing skills with another person. Place a mark at the 10 feet distance. and place another mark at the 15 feet distance. Stand behind the 10 feet mark. You will perform 5 chest passes, followed by 5 bounce passes. Stand behind the 15 feet mark. You will perform 5 two hand overhead passes. You will be evaluated by your passing forms from skill 1 to 6 using the rubric posted on Moodle. For the dribbling and layup skills, measure a distance of 20 feet from underneath the goal. The distance should be 45 degrees out to the three-point line. Place a mark at the 10 feet distance and place another mark at the 20 feet distance. From there, measure another 20 feet towards the mid line. Place a mark at the 10 feet distance and place another mark at the 20 feet distance. After setting up the right side of the court, you will do exactly the same on the left side of the court. Stand behind the mark that is close to the midline. Here is where you will start and finish your dribbling and layup skills test. You will start dribbling with your right hand. Switch the dribbling hand when you meet a mark. You will continue to do so until you pass the last marker and you will proceed to do a layup. If you miss the layup, you will rebound until you make the goal. Once you're done with the layup or make up the rebound, you will dribble back to the first marker. You will perform this cycle three times on the right hand side. You will do the same on the left hand side. The only difference on the left side is that you will start dribbling with your left hand and do the layup on the left hand side. You will videotape the three cycles in one shot, meaning that you cannot stop the video during the three cycles of the dribbling and layup task. If you are not satisfied with the time you spend on the dribbling and layup cycles in one set, you may re-record the three cycles in one set until you are satisfied with your performance. You will be evaluated by your dribbling form and the time to complete the test. Dribbling and layout forms and the time for the allotted scores are described on the same rubric. For the shooting skill, measure a distance of 15 feet from underneath the goal to the opposite side of the rim. Stand behind the 15 feet distance and shoot 5 free throws. You will videotape the 5 free throws in one shot, meaning that you cannot stop the video until you are shooting the 5 free throws. If you are not satisfied with the number of free throws you made in one set, you may re-record another 5 free throws until you are satisfied with your performance. 
you will be evaluated by your shooting form from skill 1 to 6 on the same rubric. The number of successful free throws will also be recorded as part of your score. Here are a few reminders. First, put all clips into one video. Second, show the lines in your performance at all times. Third, do not fast forward your performance. It is for the purpose of demonstration that the performance in this video is in the fast forward fashion. In your video submission, do not fast forward your performance. Fourth, do not edit your performance within a set. A set for the passing skills is 5 chest passes, 5 bounce passes, and 5 2 hand overhead passes. A set for the dribbling and layup skills is to dribble through the markers and do a layup for 3 cycles on the right hand side. You will do another set for the dribbling and layup skills for 3 cycles on the left hand side. A set for the shooting skill is 5 free throws. You are encouraged to re-record the skills until you are satisfied with your performance. Fifth, include the measurements in the video. Lastly, read the description and rubric posted on Moodle before you attempt the skills test.